everybody and welcome on my YouTube channel. You are with uh, Al Andris and today we will continue to review Heroes uh, on Heroes uh, Arena. And it's really good because today it was a uh, one patch with a new hero who came. I already uh, bought him and just uh, before to begin the review, I want to uh, show you the patch uh, for today. Here is the patch. Uh, so if you can read first information one new hero the arm blower is here a powerful warrior with both dps and control abilities you will see during my review but is more a control oriented initiator oriented than a dps new content guild really important player now can create search join manage a guild choose a guild and join battles with your guild mates and more guild features will be coming soon i have created a guild name is uh, eclipse if you are a diamond or over you can apply and i will see if i can uh, take you with me or not in according to the place because we have only 10 places by guild facebook Player now can link their game account to Facebook. When you link to for the first time, you will give uh, 50 diamond. Okay, interesting, nothing crazy. Added more advanced uh, credence in player first uh, 5 versus 5 battle. Now improvement, L name length limit is now 15 character instead of 12. We absolutely don't care about it, but it's like that. Level 1 runes and level 1 leader abilities have been added to the store for player to buy. It's interesting for them for you cool who create the game so for players who just begin the game and want to uh, grow up quickly they can buy some crystal and a gem and with this gem they will be able to buy ability and rune balance adjustment now important for the equipment increased icebound basic attack damage by 50 and slow down by uh, 10% as well uh, reduce its cd by uh, one second it's an uh, important changement for this uh, item, but okay, it's, uh, it's like that. Now some uh, nerf and some up. For Lucent, it wa it's one nerf uh, definitively. The second and third arrow of Lucent first ability will no longer bring a special effect. It's a big, big nerf because if you remember, you could do uh, free critique, free critique, free critique and kill one uh, target in uh, some seconds. Now it won't be possible to do, but she's uh, still strong. I tested her uh, this morning after the patch and you can still use her but yes it's an important nerf wildcard an important nerf too wildcard's ability damage was too powerful in the early battle period we reduce his basic attack by five and added one more attack for each level up additionally we reduce his level one abilities basic damage by 40 while each ability level up brings additional 10 attack damage therefore the total damage amount remains the same it's mean in the middle of the game in the end of the game it doesn't change so much but in early game it kills all strategy based with a uh, five uh, arrow in one lane and wild card will destroy the tower in uh, three seconds so most of the time if you can't uh, control the burst in the early fight you will uh, lose one two tower even three towers in uh, some seconds and you can't do absolutely nothing they change this and it's a really good uh, nerf Burning Sun, some important nerf too because it was necessary. Slightly increase ability mana cost. We want to uh, limit his spell power a little bit. It's uh, really nice. If you are uh, checking the rest, Quake, his first ability and ultimate ability could bring destructive damage to his enemy in the early battle period. However, they were not improving in later fight. We reduced the basic attack of his uh, ultimate ability by 60 and added 40 more attack for each level up. CD of his first ability increased a little bit in early battle, but the final CD remains the same. So I'm explaining uh, now his uh, skills Quake will not deal crazy damage as first level. In second level, it will be still nerf in according to what it was. But in the third level, you will have a more uh, more damage for uh, this skill. So it's good too because uh, in early game it was just uh, too strong. Lil, Lil Witch now. Our third ability has a two powerful immune effect for the crown. We change 
its CD for uh, 15 seconds to uh, 12 seconds. So now they uh, limit the buff, but they decrease the cooldown. Celestian Warden its a big buff. The attack in the early battle period was weak, so we increased a basic attack by 4, and each level up for the first 4 level will bring additional 1 attack. It's really good because this hero was boring as hell, especially in the early game. And finally, a good nerf. Dimension Devile, the balance to balance his attack damage and increase the buff effect. We reduced the attack of his second ability by 30%, but the ability now can stack up to 8 times instead of 6. To make up for this, we increase his first ability's damage by 20%. They balanced this hero, the game is new, so they need to do some uh, adjustment, but most, uh, more or less, it's more a nerf than uh, a buff for a Dimension uh, Devil. Let's now begin uh, the review of Horn Blower. The Hornblower is a warrior, it's not a tank and I'm surprised about that because he's an initiator, a really good initiator in the game but he's not able to do uh, amazing damage like can do for example uh, Admiral. But okay, we'll see it a little bit uh, later. Now if we are checking his uh, statistic, they are uh, giving us uh, an equal survivability attack ability effect difficulty. I'm totally not to agree with this. His survivability is just crazy height it's one character who is able to recover a lot of life to uh, tank a lot to receive a lot of damage so he's really strong but his attack power is not so strong he has uh, all the uh, four skill will little help him to do some uh, damages but it's not a damage dealer at all ability effect uh, really really good and difficulty is quite difficult to play because he has some skill shot that you need to uh, success to be uh, efficient and you have some mechanics that you have to understand like with his skill 4 another time that you have to switch between heal and uh, damage so you need some uh, time to mastering this uh, character but definitely is uh, really interesting if you are uh, checking uh, his uh, statistic max health uh, 3000 so it's interesting he has mana so 300 of mana i think it's important uh, even if i don't have so much problem with the mana to perhaps put him some uh, uh, mana regeneration in early game but it's uh, we can discuss about that physical attack uh, 155 a really good speed in early games 391 Elf regeneration speed uh, 13% and mana regeneration speed 3% in the early game. So let's now discover his skills. Let's begin with the passive skill of Mad Dog, War Machine, it's a support skill, restores 30 health when Mad Dog kills a minion, restores 200 health when Mad Dog kills a hero. It's a really important skill, it's really important to last hit when you are on the lane, and it's really important to understand that you can little bit jungle with him, so perhaps to put one jungle item as first item is one possibility I still uh, didn't try. First active skill, Blitz Physical, Mad Dog deals 300 physical damage to an enemy within the target area, stunning him for 1.2 seconds and dashing to him. It's like a hook, if you know some uh, character in Dota like uh, Pudge, it's exactly the same. So you need some uh, skill shot to uh, target the proper enemy, but it's really interesting because when you are uh, engaging one fight, if you are targeting the right target, you will be in the middle of the battle directly. Second active skill, Gravity Wave, physical, Mad Dog deals 350 physical damage to enemies nearby and drag to targets to the targets to him. Important because another time when you will initiate one fight, if you are able to go in the middle of enemies, you will push all enemies in your characters and all your allies will be able to deal a crazy damages. Three, third active skill, important and difficult to understand, it's a support skill. In defense position, you will every three hit restore 60 health for Mad Dog. In attack position, you will every three hits cause additional 120 physical damage. It's the most important uh, skill for Mad Dog actually, because 
when you lose some HP, you switch, you will be able to uh, recover some HP. When you want, when you are full HP and you want to deal some damage, you switch and you can go in the middle of the uh, battle and deal additional uh, damage who are really not bad. And finally is ultimate, swings, physical also. Mad Dog strikes nearby enemies three times, each time dealing 280 physical damage. The third strike throws a target into the sky for one second. I want to tell that if you are alone to control the enemy, it's difficult to hit three times one enemy. But for example, if you are playing with uh, Ice Mage, uh, Ice Witch, sorry, she will be able to stun enemy. And if you have good synchronization with her, it can be totally crazy in a team fight. For example, I give you just uh, one ID. You rush in the middle. You grab all enemy in you. Ice Ice uh, Witch will stun all of them. You do your ultimate. All enemies are clean uh, definitively. So it's really nice. Now is items. I did some uh, changement in his uh, build of items. I'm explaining uh, why. So first item I put boots. Another time boots as first item is really important because when you are uh, chasing someone in the early game, you will be able to be uh, faster than him and to catch him with your hook, for example, to catch him with your uh, second skill and to give the kill for your allies. Second item, it's a mix between uh, damage and uh, control so max health 800 physical defense plus 178 and some uh, damage in uh, close position for him third item it's a dps item because you need to uh, do some damage i think with this character especially when you initiate uh, the fight so you will initiate and you will uh, broke the armor of uh, the target so you can see uh, max health 320 physical attack plus 95 cd reduction plus 15 First First, increase movement speed by 8% for 3 seconds. Second, basic attack reduce target physical defense but by 5% for 5 seconds, stacking up 5 times. So it's important for one initiator to have uh, this item. Third item, max mana, physical defense and CD reduction. Sh slow attack speed of enemies nearby by 30%. You will be in the middle, so it's important to have this item because you will receive less damage. Your allies will receive less damage. It's all really good for this character. I change the five item. I put Torn Shield first of all because you have health, physical defense, and you have some rebound. Another time you engage the fight, you are in the middle. Nine times on ten, you will be the main target, so you will give back uh, damage for all enemies who are uh, pushing you. It's uh, really important. And finally, encourage max health, magic defense, health regeneration speed, CD reduction, and increased yield effect by 30%, restores 2% of max HP per second after being attacked over 2 seconds. The effect, the effect can be triggered every 10 seconds. Full defense uh, for uh, conclude this uh, build. It's uh, important. Another time you see I, I named this, this build initiator, and it's exactly what this character is. You can check what uh, they did by default. They did one build uh, DPS. Uh, I don't think. Uh, perhaps somebody will show me that this character is able to deal uh, amazing damage. But I don't believe it actually. And uh, totally defensive build. Why not? It's uh, one possibility. If you know your allies and you know that they are really strong. You can build full defensive. Go in the... Uh, in the fight and let your allies uh, deal the job you will survive and it's the most uh, important so let's now discover his runes for his uh, blue runes we will have uh, as priority order uh, physical attack attack speed and after that, a critic, critical damage, and finally a lifesteal. So you can see what I choose: physical attack, lifesteal, attack speed, critical rate, attack speed, critical damage, lifesteal, attack speed bonus, lifesteal, critical damage, attack speed bonus, physical attack, critical damage, lifesteal, physical attack, and a physical attack, attack speed a bonus. For uh, red runes, this time you will have as priority order uh, CD uh, reduction and 
all defensive statistics that you want. So you can see physical defense, magical defense, CD reduction, magical defense, physical defense, tenacity, CD reduction, magical defense, CD reduction, tenacity, physical defense and uh, physical defense, physical uh, penetration, I didn't have uh, nothing else to put. And finally, uh, purple runes. So for this, you will have HP, Rebound in second uh, position, speed and finally HP uh, regeneration. So you can see speed bonus, speed bonus rebound, max health, health regeneration speed, max health, health regeneration speed rebound, health regeneration speed rebound, Max elf speed bonus and finally uh, max elf. So with this you have one character who is able uh, to tank and to give back uh, some uh, damage and to deal some uh, consistent damage but uh, nothing uh, crazy. Let's now speak about his abilities. As a common ability for uh, horn blower, you have uh, two possibilities. So you will use the heal or you will use a deviate. The heal is really good because it's healing yourself and also your allies and deviate is really good for this character because you will go with the skill 1 in the uh, battle, you will use skill 2, you will regroup all enemies on you, you will activate a deviate and during this time your allies are able to do the necessary. Last little possibility, you can use cleanse If in front of your team you have, uh, for example, Ice Blade and uh, Ice Witch, it's uh, one possibility that you can do. I don't think that it's the best, but it's uh, possible. As an uh, offensive uh, ability for him, it's <laughs> really easy. Only one possibility, it's Amphible. It's the best, the best, the best, the best that you can have for uh, Handblower. You will go in the middle of the fight, activate Amphible, grip the enemies, All your allies benefit of uh, this bonus, it's the best without a dope. For sure if you want to play in the jungle with this character or if you want, uh, I, I don't know if you want to uh, play him as DPS, you have some other uh, possibilities but the best one is Amphible 100%. So let's now discover the match and what we can do with Horn Blower. So we'll try the gameplay of the horn blower. Um, what I can tell for the moment, it's more an initiator than uh, something else. So if your uh, friend are uh, really low as damage dealer, you will have some uh, problem in the game. But the mechanic of this hero are not bad. You will see uh, how it's work. He has a strong regeneration. Really, he can uh, he can be full life a uh, long time. So. You have good things, you have bad things. Bad things, it is damage, definitely. He's uh, not a good damage dealer at all. We took the grab first, and after we'll take the skill 3 to have some regeneration or additional damage in according to the situation. Okay, actually I have... Oh, why she sacrificed herself? So this is uh, really bad. I don't know what they are doing, but alone I can do nothing anyway, so uh, I even don't know why I'm there. Here we go again. I absolutely can do nothing. I can poke, <laughs> like you saw, but it's uh, it's little dangerous for me and I will regenerate now. I put myself in heal mode and in heal mode every 3 hit I get some uh, HP bonus. So it's uh, really interesting to have some uh, regeneration. Okay, she still miss uh, the mob, but it's not a problem. Okay, so now I can... Perfect. Second skill is grabbing enemy uh, to myself. So now it will be time for uh, regeneration. For me, I will heal my friend before. Okay, and angry mode. 
I can go in, it's not possible, and I will try to go top. Take the buff. I won't stay full life, so I will use this. Okay, ultimate. And I will return middle. Yes, but if my friend are not coming, I can stay in the middle, I will not kill nobody, it's sure. <sighs> they are in the, in the tower and they are watching. Oh, he's engaging the fight, it's uh, really nice. Okay, it's not a big problem from now. Mode for the moment. The skill one uh, for the moment I will let level one. I don't again. care, I will increase this one who is uh, really important. Oh, I don't think that I can save her. I will turn her to back, but. Uh. Yes, another time, another time she is not doing nothing at all. Just crazy for me to have some allies who are so bad. Alone, I can do nothing, so I will wait that they are coming. I will do a request. I can't, alone it's, uh, it's stupid to go there, so... a really really nice initiator because if you are with someone you can control totally the damage and it's no way that he escape perfect i want to recover my energy my life Hop. and we can go in damage mode But if they can kill, I will be happy. They should be able to kill. Perfect. So I did the job. I will defend the middle lane. 
sooner we get there, the sooner we damage fight. mode, it's okay. that I can catch him. Ah! I miss him. Let's see, but I think we'll be able to push one tower. Dragon and in the mid. You should be the one that got away. to take the tower I did some modification in the build of item and I think it's a really good idea what I did because now it's uh, really more easy to play I, I, I can do nothing for her I will not sacrifice myself if I can save her I will sacrifice but I can't. I miss. I did bad, bad, bad the move. Okay, it can happen. You should be the one that got away. Oh yes, it was uh, stupid. It was really stupid from my side. Four against one, and my allies uh, was uh, far, so it's a mistake. Now I will begin to have a really, really nice stuff. There, they will die. It's uh, it's uh, stupid, and they they will die. Oh, we go again. Retreat. Retreat. Okay. But uh... you should be the one that got away. Perfect. Gathering request. Our tower has been destroyed. Gathering 
This is just horrible, this uh, fucking pusher. Here we go again! We have to unpush, unpush the lane. Okay, we should take the tower. Here we go again! And we'll take this one. I don't know what she's expecting against two tanks. Just to wait our creep and to push the tower, and I think it's over. We did really nice, uh, nice game. Like I told, uh, my uh, my uh, allies played not bad because alone it's uh, impossible to do nothing with this hero. But in team, this hero is uh, really interesting. not pretending to be an expert with this hero because it's my third game with him but I think I understand how to play him uh, not bad and uh, I changed a little bit his build by default because his build was uh, really really soft not aggressive at all and I think this hero need a minimum of, uh, of damage oh, yeah, 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 uh, yes. alone I put them in uh, difficulty but uh, my bad. Uh, I think she will not survive. Oh, saved by <laughs> by Guardian. And now we'll finish. <laughs> we have uh, all lane. Pity that I died. No way that we lost. Warrior of Light uh, enemies who is uh, doing his ultimate uh, against a full life target. 
zéro effect. And we won! So I'm pretty happy about this game. It's, uh, I think, not a bad presentation of uh, this hero, this new hero. It's a little expensive, but I think it's uh, worth to invest the Hornblower, especially if you are playing with a team. Oh, and I'm an MVP of the game, so I'm pretty happy about that. Let's now conclude this uh, video. Thank you everybody for watching uh, this uh, review. You saw if you already uh, connected today that it will be soon a new assassin in the game. I hope that I will have time to reach uh, enough gem or enough uh, gold uh, to buy her when uh, she will come because I really like to play uh, assassin also. This new hero is uh, pretty interesting. Actually they are uh, doing some uh, adjustment in the game so if you want to see what will happen in the future for Heroes Arena, you can follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook as uh, you prefer, you can choose. And if you really like what I'm doing, you can uh, follow my video on uh, YouTube. And if you want to support my work, you can click in the last link in the right side of your screen. Thank you guys. Bye bye.